Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is Psalm 13 in action, and we're just going to read the whole thing. Why? Because it is incredibly short. Don't worry, hang in there. It won't take long. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So it sounds kind of typical, a cry for help, uh, a plea to God for saving. Something we've probably all done in times of duress. Probably some that aren't even Christians or believers in any kind of God. Probably have shot up a prayer somewhat similar to that in the past. Again, I think we all have. Now the big question is, like we know, we know that David, we know that David's prayer was answered. We see if you read in the book of 2 Samuel, well, and 1 Samuel, I'm sorry, in 1 and 2 Samuel, and the book of 1 Chronicles as well, we see God's provision and hand in David's life over and over and over again. But here we see, or, I, or rather I should say, what we need to realize is that David prayed this prayer from a place of need. Probably not from a place of want, considering he was a king, and before he was a king, he was a warrior. Before he was a warrior, he was a shepherd who had to deal with sometimes very deadly animals. So his life was in literal danger multiple times throughout his life. When he prayed a prayer like that, it was probably not from a position of want. It was from a position of need, or at the very least, perceived need. He needed God's help. He needed God's answer. We see a life that's just blessed. We see a life that's, you know, just full of God from beginning to end. But we need to remember that when David prayed that prayer, he didn't have the victory yet. He was getting to the victory. So we need, we need to believe in God and we need to have that faith that even when, even when what we're looking at is bad, maybe even life-threatening, that God is there, that God hears us, that God answers us, and that He deals bountifully with us. We need to keep that in mind. And sometimes that's not the easiest thing to do. But He does. Uh, we see the end of David's story, and we need to remember that the end of any story to anyone who calls on God for help and believes in Him, it's going to have a good ending. Maybe not a good ending as defined by our culture, our nation, our family, our friends, or our culture, but any that is defined as a good end by God. And sometimes we need His help seeing that good end as well. So the question is, when you are in that place of need and in that place, sometimes of just want, but more often of need, of desperate need. Will you cry out to God? And will you remember in that moment that he does deal bountifully with you and have the faith that he will answer that call and cry for help? Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless. By the way, I am feeling better than I was yesterday. Things have taken a turn for the better, so thumbs up for me. I love you and God bless.